So hello and welcome, it's the Mayfair here. And of course, what would the Mayfair be without cotton candy? I mean, look at all this cotton candy. Isn't this crazy? I've never seen so much cotton candy in one place before. It's incredible. In all different colors. Also here. Well, I have to tell you that uh, I was a little bit disappointed to find out that the cotton candy melted. Um, it uh, totally shriveled up and it shrunk together and it uh, does not have any cotton-like appearance at all. And I think uh, one of the reasons could be, or I think that could be the primary reason, is, is that the moisture in the air uh, was absorbed by the sugar and this caused uh, the cotton candy to, to melt. Okay, um, I did not store it in a warm place. As a matter of fact, I think uh, in my apartment it's even cooler than, than on the outside. Um, but luckily, uh, we still have uh, some sample material left over because I did buy myself a, a whole little container here, a little a bucket uh, with cotton candy. Um, I kept it closed so that no moisture can enter the cotton candy. So I'm going to use uh, this, uh, this one over here right now to observe. Well, okay, um, here um, I'm simply taking um, a sample uh, from, of cotton candy uh, from the bucket that I bought. And uh, the cotton candy is uh, relatively sticky, so um, it was actually possible to directly put the cover glass on top, uh, pressed it flat and stayed flat. Obviously, I'm not using any mounting medium any, because any type of uh, moisture or water would have immediately dissolved it. And yeah, um, then I put everything under the microscope. That's possibility number one. And uh, yeah, or you can allow the slides to slide in all on its own. That's of course also much easier. And using the 4x, the 4 times magnifying objective, we can see the individual cotton candy fibers. This is a dark field, uh, so you see the individual fibers bright on dark background because I included a patch stop filter in the condenser. Using the 10 uh, times magnifying objective, everything is of course not only much larger, but also the depth of field is lower. So it's kind of blurry. Um, and this is the reason why I'm always refocusing a little bit. And uh, the fibers can actually be seen quite well right now. Um, they're transparent. Um, it's of course sugar. And uh, yeah, if you just move around a little bit, you can also see that some of the fibers yeah, have a bulb shaped structure at the end. I think this is uh, the place uh, where um, the, the sugar was not pulled into a fiber completely. Yet at a higher magnification, it's uh, 20 times uh, magnifying, um, the 20 times magnifying objective. Uh, so the total magnification is of course much higher. And the depth of field, unfortunately, is still lower. But that's just uh, the way it is. Okay. I now switched over to bright field, and uh, so I removed the patch stop. Um, and uh, yeah, I blew on the slide, and you could see that there was a little bit of fog here because I added some moisture because I wanted to now observe under the microscope how the sugar, how it actually dissolves and how it uh, kind of melts. And I'm blowing again on it, and you can see that it was kind of a little bit blurry for sure. Right now, again, you see the fog. And uh, then I used, uh, yeah, that's time-lapse. Uh, so I really was speeding up everything. <clears throat> and you can see that uh, the individual cotton candy fibers, they start uh, to absorb uh, the moisture and they start to melt. So the, when I say it melts, well, it actually means that the, the sugar structure kind of uh, yeah, disintegrates because it's not melting because of the heat. Yeah, and uh, again, you can see how it uh, turns liquid because the sugar um, attracts the moisture very well. And uh, I'm switching back again uh, to dark field and you can see also the cotton candy fibers dissolve and I'm always repeatedly blowing on, yeah, on, on the slide and uh, you can see the fog um, as the water condenses on the slide. Yeah, so that's uh, pretty much it uh, right now. Of course, I ate all of the cotton candy. By the way, um, I did find a use uh, for the bucket here. 
Um, I'm simply going to use it to collect my old slides. So this was a uh, cotton candy under the microscope. So far, I think one of the most uh, unconventional specimens that I ever observed. Um, yeah, but uh, my recommendation is, is if you find anything interesting that you're curious about and if it's sufficiently small and thin and transparent, you just put it under the microscope. And yeah, uh, the worst uh, in worst case, you're not going to see anything, but sometimes uh, yeah, there are some surprising discoveries. Um, I wish you all the best. Happy microbe hunting as always and have a nice day. Bye bye.